Oh, hold on. Because while we reacting to this, when this entire scam is called to me, me and me some fries. Old Bay fries. Straight from out there, fire. You know what I'm saying? With some ketchup all over. Whew. So far, this motherfucker said there's a lot of cluster. There's, there's so much cluster. There is. Got my screen with this. Oh, shit, look good. Come on, Applebee's. We're going to expose this entire scam call center. These scammers are absolute clueless. They have no idea I hacked their CCTV security cameras, gained access to all of their computers, and now it's time to send someone to their exact location. Reminder, these is the scam likely calls that I get every fucking day. To this day, I still get them motherfuckers like, bro, stop calling my fucking phone. It'd be a number from like Mission Lane and shit like, bro, stop calling this fucking phone, bitch. All right, so I found this scammy looking website right here by Googling for Microsoft's phone number. And uh, this thing was the first result. And when I clicked on this website for the first time, I spotted something that would immediately help my investigation. But before we call this phone number, let's look at some real testimonials made by some customers. Very helpful and competent. Well, Susan, I'm going to prove to you that these people aren't helpful and are completely incompetent. Let's take a look at this other one. The tech guy recover my system and back up all my data on cloud. All right, those reviews seem legit to me. Let's call that phone number and call. Oh, those are all fake reviews by the people in the call center. The certified expert. Yeah, let me tell you one thing. We received so many complaints about that messages. The message that pop up on the screen, it is not a good message. It's a scam message. So after initiating the call with one of their support technicians, I told them I received a suspicious warning that looked like this. What actually happened? You accidentally click on any link or any button, like any fake website you're going on there. So it installed a virus on your computer that allowed the hackers to show that number. If it tried to call on that number, they tried to connect your other devices in your home, like your cell phone, laptop, and other devices that is connected with the same internet. So you might think he is a legitimate employee by telling me this fake pop-up message was a scam, but he actually took this as an opportunity to defraud me by falsely diagnosing the computer. As a part of the scam, they'll have their victims install remote access software, and I could take advantage of this to reverse the connection and gain access to their computers. This guy. Yeah, man, sure. Recording 4K, my guy. 4K. And just like that, I'm now in the scammer's computer. I can see the person that was just trying to scam me. And uh, let's see if he has anything interesting on his network. Right about now is when I found the set of CCTV security cameras. I tried to access them, but I could not manage to guess the password. So I had to social engineer someone into changing the password for me. The first thing I did once I got into the CCTV was mapping out all the cameras and essentially creating a virtual minimap of this call center. The CCTV captured the front entrance of the call center, including the main room where all the scams took place. The CCTV was also installed in a tiny kitchen, a cafeteria, and some external offices that the scammers never really used. I many times spotted the scammers eating, social you got everything that motherfucker, basically live with that motherfucker. Socializing and unfortunately scamming innocent people. And 29 soft five were detected here. Ah. Oh. 42 threats and malware. Your iron is infected, as I showed you. Trojan uh, spyware. Like this is a kind of malicious software. And since uh -huh. the protection not working, that means your file was. That woman that you just heard a second ago called the phone number that was on the fake website. One of the agents in this scam call center picked up the phone, and now they are trying to scam her out of $4. Yeah. And that cybersecurity is a Windows recommend cybersecurity, because. 
Windows or Microsoft is not dealing with any kind of cyber security. That's why I'm going to show you the Windows recommend cyber security. Of course, I don't want this person to pay their hard earned money to the scammer. So it's now. Ain't it crazy we watching this? And the damn scam call called me right now. Picking up your shit, bitch. It's crazy that we reacting to one and the nigga gonna call me right now. Now time for me to step in and warn this lady about the scam. Hello. Hi, ma'am. I wanted to tell you the person you were just speaking with, they weren't from like Microsoft or any of those companies. Uh, they were actually scammers trying to scam you. Well, I've had scammers all day long, it seems like. Right, yeah, I just... Line telephone fraud, like I don't want your name, I don't, I don't want, want to connect, connect to, your to your computer. I'm not from Microsoft. I just want to tell you, like those all those Indian people, all those people you've been speaking to, they're trying to take your yes. money. Yeah, they're all trying to take your I money. I know. Yeah, like And um, he wanted two hundred or four hundred dollars. I said absolutely not. Thankfully I was able to call that lady before she got scammed, but there were many more people who had previously been scammed before I had a chance to intervene. This was evident from the computer access that I had gained earlier. I could see that victims were initiating the direct debit payment on WhereDot's official website. I did well, see that victims were initiating. I should say $209.95 for a family membership. Fuck, no, you got me messed up. Initiating the direct debit payment on WhereDot's official website. I additionally recorded these scammers successfully stealing 10 Apple gift cards totaling an amount of $1,000. After I saw this, I knew I had to do something about this scam operation and expose it to the world. So here is a backstory of how they operate. Now, WhereDot's agents are trained to make a sale, but they won't try to sell you the cheap plan for fixing the so-called computer issue. Instead, they will try to sell you the most expensive plan, WhereDot Ultimate. Now, unlike other scammers, WhereDot actually installs something on their victims' computers, and it's their very own antivirus. Yes, this group has their own AV, and I don't know the org how WhereDot was intended to be created at first. Maybe they started off as a legitimate company, trying to make an honest dollar, and then realized they can just scam people into buying their antivirus? Or maybe they were scammers from the beginning, and knew that this entire scheme of tricking people into thinking that they need to buy the WhereDot antivirus was just too good. Whatever the case may be, I don't have the facts of what has happened in the past, but I do know if WhereDot has been a shady company for a couple of years now. See, if I want to prove WhereDot is scamming people, maybe it's a good tactic to just call them. So I decided to challenge the agent that we- Look all these niggas, bro. Stupid ass saw previously, Karan to hear what he has to say when I ask him about his company and its association with Microsoft. How do you call us? I didn't call Yeah, you. I know you're a scammer though. I know you're pretending to be from Microsoft. Why are you pretending to be from Microsoft? No, we don't. We, uh, we do provide support for Microsoft. No, you don't provide you support. No, you're not the real Microsoft? No, no, we are not the real one. We do provide Oh, you're the for fake me. Microsoft, right? You're the fake Microsoft. You're not really no. Microsoft. Yeah. So where are you calling me from? Where are you calling me from if you're from Microsoft? Where are you calling me from, sir? Where are you calling me from? I didn't tell you. I said that we do provide support from Microsoft. What does that even Windows. mean? So who are you? So who are you? What is your company? Who are you? Tech support. We are tech technical That's support That's not a company. Who the f*** are you? That doesn't tell me. Listen to me now. I know you're a scammer. Don't try to play games with me. Okay. Well, Karan didn't fumble the script. He's a true employee to the Where.Team. team. You hear that, Mr. Rakesh? Bump this guy up to scammer of the month already. He deserves it. <clears throat> but on a real note, let's talk more about WhereDot's garbage software. WhereDot also claims they offer quote-unquote rescue recovery software, but that's yeah. just a fancy way of saying they do recovery services. In reality, the real account... If you see anything that say fixing your software, update or something, don't download shit. It is a scam. The recovery process is very different. Victims will call a number on the fake website with the intention of speaking to someone from Microsoft, but instead they will be speaking to someone from WhereDot. If the victim actually believes they are speaking, yeah, 
Look. Ooh, what's another scam? Chime, I think. Cause once you call the number from Chime, they get they automatically hook you up to a number from India. Oh, no. Y'all niggas scamming too. Microsoft, it will usually ask if it's possible to recover access to an email or a Microsoft account. The agent from WhereDot will insist that this is indeed possible, but they will then convince the victim that someone has hacked into the account, and this is the reason as to why. Matter of fact, that's cash up. Cash up got that. I think cash up in time got the same people in India trying to scam niggas and shit. They cannot access it. Obviously, this isn't true, and they will use the entire situation as an opportunity to make a sale. The scammer's only realistic capability and option is to reset the password to the account, but instead of guiding the victim onto how to reset the password themselves, the scammers will instead ask- And that's just so damn easy. All you do is go on Microsoft on the computer and say forgot password and reset your password. It's so simple. You don't gotta goddamn call these niggas and shit. What y'all calling these niggas for? That's why y'all get scammed. Because y'all want to call them. Ask the victim for their email, so they can just initiate the forgot password request for them. The victim will then receive a one-time pin to their phone, with a message that specifically says to never share the code. The scammers will obviously ask for that code, and if the victim disregards the message and gives out the one-time pin, the scammers will have successfully reversed access into the account. Once the agent that's resetting the password gains access to the account, Come on, be a dumbass ad and got down for my video. Out, it becomes a lot easier to convince the victim that they truly are from Microsoft. For example, if you have a certain subscription or payment method linked with the account, they will use that information to further convince you that they really are from Microsoft. Continuously, he's using your email from last three days here. He's trying to get access of your PayPal account. Do you have the PayPal also? He's trying to get access of that also because email is the thing which is connected to your, all of your accounts. That's the thing. Now all of this is of course one big lie and the scammers just want to take advantage of someone who doesn't know how to reset their own password. They are essentially making the victim pay for a whole process that could have been done for free. WhereDot does actually offer a piece of software for data recovery, but it's about as use their antivirus. It's called Rescue Data. I downloaded the program onto my computer and when I tried to select a directory on my computer to start the recovery process, I kept on receiving prompts like this. I thought maybe since I was using an outdated operating system, the program was just maybe not compatible or even capable of running on Windows 8. So I decided to give WhereDot the benefit of the doubt, and I booted up an entirely new virtual machine, Windows 10 of course, and I decided to download and run the program like I did previously, and what do you know? It uh, still didn't work. <laughs> and uh, every time I would click around on this software, it would bring up the WhereDot page to purchase licensing for rescue data, for the application that doesn't even work. So let's just throw that thing in the trash and uh, never install that piece of junk ever again. The people that are behind this entire WhereDot antivirus scheme is pretty much a company by the name of Minds Insider Private Limited. And this would turn out to be the real Indian company. But when looking at public records of who owns this business, we are met with two names, Ganesh Biswa and Sanjeev. These are the two directors of Minds Insider Private Limited. And there are two other names that are involved as well. Minds Insider and Minds Insider and I'm keeping this censored out, not because I want to protect the scammers, but it's rather done just to protect this YouTube channel. So for that exact reason, I'll be focusing on the people that are sitting in the call center in India, as they are the individuals running the main scams anyway. And while rather done just to protect this YouTube channel. So for that exact reason, I'll be focusing on the people that are sitting in the call center in India, as they are the individuals running the main scams anyway. 
and while looking through all the data that I had downloaded, it was obvious that this group had a ton of victim information and data. Scammers get access to this type of data, thanks to data brokers who collect your information and data State scammers get access to this type of data thanks to data brokers who collect your information and sell it data brokers selling information is vital to the operations of scam call centers just like the one you see right here but how do you solve this well you have to search for data brokers on google to see who has your information and manually submit opt-out requests for every single one data brokers are legally required to remove your information if you request an opt-out but this is incredibly time consuming and data brokers do not make it easy by design so for this exact reason i'm actually teaming up again with the spawn days video aura aura makes the process of opting out easier by automatically identifying data brokers who are selling your information and they will submit all of the opt-out requests on your behalf even my personal information has been leaked in the past the so aura has really helped protect me and my information by searching the dark web for email addresses passwords phone numbers, and even social security numbers. Aura is really easy to set up, so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like an antivirus, a password manager, and a VPN all wrapped in one, even including up to $1 million in identity theft insurance. Scammers unfortunately target elderly people, but with Aura, you're able to keep people, people to your plan, securing your parents' or relatives' personal information. And for those of you with kids, Aura offers family protection, things like parental controls, content monitoring, and usage monitoring. And all of this can be obtained through my link, so make sure over to Aura.com nano on any web browser, and my link will offer a 14-day free trial, which is risk-free with Aura's 60-day money-back guarantee. So make sure you go to the link in the description or the first pinned comment or .com slash nano to start your online protection today. Now, back to the video. So why would a scam call center have CCTV security cameras? Well, obviously it's stupid to be documenting your fraud live on camera, but the real reason I think they installed the cameras was for quality assurance. This is the CCTV camera view to the quality assurance manager's room, and the person that mainly occupies this room is Rakesh Kumar. This is the office where they train all the agents on how to scam people, and I wasn't really able to hear the audio through the cameras, so I had to hack Rakesh's computer directly. I simply waited for him to come into the office, watched him log onto the computer and connect to the hijacked internet that I had access to, and then I was able to pivot to his computer directly. On his computer alone, I downloaded a ton of files, but the main thing I wanted to use his computer for was a room bug. I was able to listen into hundreds of conversations made by the scammers, including segments of their training process. This name is Jose, okay? So you get very frequently this name. The second one is Michelle. Yeah, this is Michelle. So, what is it? Again, it's Jose. The reason I have these faces blurred is because some of them didn't actually receive the scam job and rather just went through the training process. But there was still one question I had lingering in the back of my mind. Where were the scammers actually located? Yeah. Well, the first thing I did was look at the addresses the Indian-based companies were registered to, and I immediately put the address into Google Earth. It zooms me into this location in New Delhi, India, and just to make sure this- Why are they always located in New Delhi? Like, what is, what is up with New Delhi and scams? New Delhi scams, that's what we're gonna call it here. It's New Delhi scams was the actual location of the call center, I decided to use the scammer's own internet connectivity against them. These scammers have Wi-Fi in and outside of the building, and by using the names of the wireless networks, as well as their strengths relative to the scammer's computer. Well, now we know all three of the Wi-Fi names. So if y'all want to take a picture of that, screenshot or whatever, yeah. And if y'all even want to get them hacking today, shit, be our shit, you know what I'm saying? Because since they want to get... You know, fucking scamming and hacking and other people's shit. Do what it is. You know what I mean? Computers? we can precisely determine where the scam call center is located. And when I put those coordinates into Google Street View, we can see a building with a sign at the top that reads 91 Springboard. If I put that name into Google alongside the road we are sitting on, I can see the official website for the 91 Springboard complex. It's a co-working space. <laughs> Like I said earlier, they live in that bitch. Can you tell what drive Base in New Delhi. Delhi. And while looking at photos of this place, it became very clear that the scammers were located in this building. What makes me say that? Well, for starters, it's the building's design and style that really gives it away for me. On this camera view, we can see colorful chairs, and this entire office just jam-packed with colorful furniture. Additionally, I saw a sign by the front desk that says Hub Team, and if we look at the name computers that I 
I have access to, we can see that they also have the word hub in them. Maybe this was all just a coincidence though, so just to be sure, it was good to send an insider into the building. I coordinated with a fellow scam baiter and friend of mine, Agent G9, to send someone into the 91 Springboard Complex. These scammers go after people in the United States, so they aren't working in the office during the Indian daytime, so that would be a perfect time for the insider to go scope out the office. So he then made his way on over to the scam call center to get a footage of how it looks like in person. Once he arrived at the call center, he got some footage of the exterior, and now it was finally time to go inside. What on bike? Oh, for the big hill on this side. But he completely went against protocol and recorded his interaction at the front desk. They immediately noticed he was filming and denied his entry to the actual office space, meaning he didn't even make it past the front desk. Well, <sighs> why didn't you just say no down? Microphone in your glasses or something. This trip was money well spent. The insider did try to come back later at nighttime when the scammers were in operation, and he managed to get this footage. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it inside again, but this time it was because of the building security. They told the insider no people work in the office this late at night. Of course, we know this isn't true because the office is almost never occupied during the Indian daytime. In fact, they are always in the office during the nighttime. The insider even managed to get a clip of the guard dog that was standing right outside. And this I got a damn guard dog. And that guard dog looked like him when he heard it fly. Security guard was just not messing around. So he decided it wasn't worth it for him to get in trouble with the security. So he ended up just going back to his hotel and told us that he would go back to the call center a different time. Since these scammers are in New Delhi, it would be hard for me to work with the police over there to shut down a massive scam call center that has existed for over three years. So it is up to me to do as much damage as possible and absolutely destroy this entire scam call center. The first thing I did was report all of where.social media, their Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn profiles. I mean, they're trying to look so legit. They even have their own YouTube channel. The next thing we did was report all of the scammers phone numbers resulting in some of them actually getting shut down. And yes, they can just get a new phone number, but we constantly kept on reporting them. Finally, I sent a message to my friend Matt who works for the company Anydesk and he responded within a couple of seconds and after a little while, the whole entire scam call center was offline and permanently got banned from using Anydesk. Next, it was time for me to Hey, that's what you need to do to these niggas that keep calling my phone from missing lane. They need to do that same thing. Delete all of the remote access they have to their victims. But before doing so, I decided it would be good to route the scammers their call to me so I can make their eight hour shift even worse than it already was. Thank you for holding the line, sir. This is Frank from the security department. My name department. is Steven. What is your name? My name is Frank. How may I help you? Oh, Frankie, how are you doing? Listen to me. The computer's going beep, 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 beep. What kind of pee 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 pee, sir? Wait, don't laugh. Put the headset back on. Put the headset back on. Put the headset back on. No, no, no. Hey. Uh huh. Yeah, it's making a pee 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 pee. What is it doing? On the computer. On the computer. Sir, I don't know you. On the well, computer. On the computer. Yeah. Wait, what is your name? What you are doing. No, what are you doing? Are you trying you to? Doing, are you trying to act over smart? Don't act over smart. Don't act over smart with me. 
Don't play smart. You are overacting now. No, you. you Amazon is overcharging you, but I can show you how to. Amazon, you are Don't overreacting now. Every time these dumbass ads play, my goddamn video take a long ass time to goddamn load up. Like, come on, bro. Load up, bitch. And then I always gotta pause it and then play it again for that motherfucker to work. You are. You are. You are. No, you. Don't try no. to play. Ch Bang. Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, you. Shut, shut up. Ain't no call center for tell goddamn customer to shut up. That's how y'all know they're not a real business. Shut up. Shut up. You. My name is Peter. What shut can up. I you? You little. Hello? Shut can up. You? Yeah, shut the oh. little. Scam me, little. Hear? Yeah, stop pretending you can't hear me. Shut the up, you little. Listen to me oh, now. I know that that's you. Yeah, I know that's you too. I know you've heard me before. Listen What's to me your now. Name? What's your name? Listen What's to me now. Name? Listen to me now, you. What is your, What's name? your name? What's your real name? Listen to me now. All right, all right. My name is. Uh, hold on. Let me think about it. Yeah, think of a fake name. Think of the fake name. I already know it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. It. I already oh, know. Yeah, my name I, is Bill Gates. Yeah, why are you scamming people? We bro? don't, we don't scamming anything. Oh here. yeah. So then, what's the, what, so? Where are you calling me from? Where is the location of where you're calling me from, sir? What are you doing? California. 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 So what's the time in California, sir? In California, there's a oh, you two thirty five. Oh, where did you have to go look for that though? Where? Do, uh, what's it called? Did you like? The thing is two thirty five there. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Okay, okay, okay. So can you say? Can, where are you in California? Because that's pretty large, you know. I have some friends in California, so where where do you live in California? We are not authorized. <clears throat> we are not authorized to tell you every information. What? But if I'm supposed to tell you all of my information, why can't I know one thing about you? You don't even tell me your real name. You told me you're Bill Gates. How do I how do I not know you're not a scammer? You scammer! Listen to me now. I am your father, Beta. Thank you for calling Windows Support. My name is Steve. How can I assist you? Thank you for calling. My name is Alex. I'm calling you from Microsoft. Hello. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you. I'm trying to warn you, sir. The computer in your office is very infected. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is get connected to the secure Microsoft. Uh, thank you. I'm calling you from Microsoft. I know you have problems with your computer, sir. The infection in the computer is very deep. And I'm calling you from your computer maintenance security, sir. So what you need to do is just turn on the computer, okay? May I know your concern? No, I may I know your concern. Don't try to play over smart with me. Don't try. Don't try. Don't you are... You are calling here. No, you are calling me. Listen to me, uh, Barry Bank. Why well, I will call you? No, Chutia. Listen to me now. I'm your father, Beta. You listen to me, Beta. After trying to annoy the scammers and break their spirit, it was now finally time for them to say goodbye to all of the remote access to their victims. And why does this matter so much? Well, these scammers mainly rely on using remote access tools to truly convince the victim that they have been hacked. Deleting and reporting the scammer's accounts and IDs helps the people that are being spied on every day, and it prevents future from being a potential victim of where.scam. In case it wasn't clear enough, I label where. as a scam, because if you call the number on the fake website, they won't pick up as where. They will instead lie and say they are from Microsoft. You are calling support. My name is Arthur. How can I help you today? Hello. Um, this is Microsoft, right? Yeah, sir. You are talking to Microsoft to do support. How may I help you? Oh, you, so you're you're from Microsoft. Your company is Microsoft. Yeah, sir. You are talking to Microsoft Windows support. Oh, okay. okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I gathered enough evidence of WhereDot's fraudulent scheme, the websites, the fake recovery process, the antivirus, and the fact that they literally impersonate Microsoft. So it was now time for my team and I to send an email to Microsoft themselves to finally destroy WhereDot's reputation. We included details of how the scams work, linked to the fake Microsoft websites, and we actually ended up receiving a response from Microsoft. The person we were speaking with over email told us that they're going to take action against WhereDot by blocking the fake websites and taking down their cloud-based infrastructure. Now this is the most that I can 
do for my end. I will be making a part 2 exposing this call center even more, showing off the final destruction of WhereDot. Let's just hope someone from the Delhi Police Force sees these videos and decides to take action. You guys. Members react when hackers turn on his webcam. I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna react to this one too. Were you recently injured in a car accident? Look at this check for $160,000. Because I need to learn all about Scammers are scam. trying to steal thousands of dollars, but little do they know, I've been spying on them the entire time. A couple weeks ago, I showed you guys what it's like to be a part of an anti-scam call center. In that video, you saw us saving potential victims and exposing multiple scammers. But right now, we have access to something else. This is a webcam. These scammers think that they can just run away from me, but not only did I access their computer webcams, I actually downloaded uh. everything on their computer hard drive too. We're talking about photos, email addresses, personal phone numbers, and you know the scammers that we have been monitoring here steal a lot of money. They aren't just taking a couple hundred dollars, like thousands. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, Yes, it is. I wanted to warn you, ma'am, like, that person is not from the like PayPal or any of those companies. He's trying to steal your money right now. Please do not withdraw any of your money from the bank. Do not do oh that. Oh my God. So it's going to be our priority today to confront these scammers and expose them to the world. You gotta save people's lives. You know so let me tell you how this all begins. Scammers send fake emails or invoice messages to their victims, telling them something has been charged on their account. $802.99. What do you want, ma'am? You want to continue with that purchase or you want to cancel? The scammers will choose large companies like Amazon, PayPal, Norton, and many more. Thank you for getting connected. The fuck is Norton? I ain't never heard of it. To the cancellation department of Norton. My name is Nick. How may I help you? Now, while sometimes victims do actually believe something's been charged on their bank account, most, most people, people don't fall for this scam. I don't even have a PayPal. I don't even have a PayPal account. How can somebody do that? But I don't even have a PayPal. Now, why do you use Angry Grandpa? He's Angry Grandpa. You know what I'm saying? I'll account. I want. I want you to cancel it now. If you don't cancel it, I'll have. I'll have a lawyer. Yeah, hi. I just want to say that I got one of your email from. So you guys are fraudulent, and this is fucked up. If you're not going to comply with me, then I will be making sure that your funds get strained out from your checking account and from your banking everywhere. Financially, you get broke. Yet yeah, definitely it's a threat. And I will be making sure the funds get donated. And you also know that, that even like Joe Biden cannot help you get those funds back which are donated. Those people don't fall for these types of scams, but there's one demographic that always does. Elderly people. When I checked my bank account, it showed pending withdrawals, $301.59. These scammers will go on and tell the victim that somebody is hacked into their Amazon account, and they need to apply a refund to their bank account. Okay, so we can do one thing. We can connect your computer to my refund department. They will cancel all the services and they will refund the money to you, okay? And the way they tell the victim that they're going to apply the refund is by connecting to their computer and having them run screen sharing software like TeamViewer or AnyDesk. Yes, ma'am. Once your app store is open, ma'am, then the... Why are y'all females participating in this shit? There is a search option. On the bottom right with a magnifying glass, so you need to click there and type there any desk. That's right, ma'am, any desk. It's a one word. Once they have access to the computer, they instruct the victim to log into their online bank account. You have to do one thing, sir. You have to close all the pages, okay? Close all the pages down, and the way you can log into your bank, sir, just log in and check it. And they will make the victim think that they've issued a refund by making an edit to the site's HTML page. And they will then visually convince the victim that they've accidentally refunded too much money into the account. Unfortunately, what happened is when I was transferring the money, unfortunately, I might have pressed an extra digit and you see $4,000 back. Okay. Now, depending on the amount, the scammers will ask the victims to pay the difference in either gift cards, sending cash in the mail, 
or even why. Come on, bro. I was trying to listen to that. We'll ask the victims to pay the difference in either gift cards, sending cash in the mail, or even wire transfers. And if you're gonna do the wire transfer or something like that, then we have to pay the 10% extra commercial tax. Now, what I'm saying, you can deduct the $1,145. The call that we're listening to right now is of a lady that believed the initial email was real, she called phone number, and is now about to be tricked into withdrawing $11,000. So I'll tell you a best. Damn, 11000 These niggas in India greedy, bruh. I don't understand why y'all niggas can't just get a regular 95. God damn, I gotta steal money from other people. That weak ass software y'all got. Solution what you can do, you can go to the bank and from your bank you can withdraw this money from your account. You have to send me $9,855. These scammers will even force their victims to lie to the bank tellers because those people are trained to spot this sort of fraud. I'm gonna tell them the truth. Exactly. They can see it in the account. Them to the truth. Exactly, that is the problem because if they will come to know you're returning this money to a company which is PayPal, so they will cost you the extra amount, the, the commercial tax of 10%. So what you can do, you can keep the reason personal. If they will ask you why you're withdrawing the money, you can tell the money personal reason, like uh, you're withdrawing it for your personal purpose, like you're gonna buy a car and you're gonna do something with, uh, we're gonna do something with this money for your personal expense. I'm not a liar. Now, of course, I wasn't going to watch this poor lady withdraw $11,000 from her account. So I called her to make sure she wasn't going to withdraw any of her money. Hello? Uh, yeah, is this... Yes, it is. Hi, ma'am. Yeah, my name is Steven. I were just speaking to someone over the phone, like giving you a refund. Yes. I wanted to warn you, ma'am, like that person is not from the like PayPal or any of those companies. He's trying to steal your money right now. Please do not withdraw any of your money from the bank. Do not do oh that. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay, thank you so much. But of they course. These are the type of people that we need, sir. People that call the people that's about to get scammed and tell them that nah, they got to um, withdraw that money. If somebody ever call you and be like, withdraw some, don't even do that shit. Hang up the phone and block that number. Put $1,100 in my account. No, ma'am, that was fake. It's all a facade. They didn't actually put the money in your account. If you log into your bank, you will actually see that it, it oh, none of that was real. They they made it look like they refunded you money, but in reality, it was all a scam. Oh my God! Thank you. I was getting ready. Thank God. No oh problem. my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, ma'am. I wanted to warn you before you went to withdraw eleven thousand dollars because yes, I. Yes, that's what I want to do. How did you find out? Now, while thankfully I was able to save that victim, hundreds, if not thousands, of victims are on the list just like her allowing their personal information to be up for grabs for all the scammers and potential threat actors to keep and save. To prevent this, I like to use Aura, which is the sponsor of today's video. Scammers- Man, These niggas doing too much hammering that shit outside. They need to chill out with that shit. They be hammering shit all fucking day. This is motherfucking 8 o'clock and it's 11.53. Alright, bro. Go and got a motherfucking 30 minute break or something are constantly getting a hold of your personal information which is why i'm partnering with aura because they are foundational when it comes to protecting your online integrity a security app like aura is a financial fraud detection system that will alert you if any of your personal information has been made public or if anyone is trying to open up an investment account under your name any damages you do suffer from identity theft will be covered by an insurance up to $1 million per person. And I'm not trying to scare you, but even my personal information has been leaked. So Aura has really helped protect me and my information by searching. The that was some fries. Huh? That was fries. Fries. The dark web for things like email addresses, passwords, phone numbers, and even social security numbers. And for those of you with kids, Aura offers family protection, things like parental controls, content monitoring, and even usage monitoring. I 
identity theft is a really big problem, and I've shown before how the Federal Trade Commission released data stating there's around 900,000 reports of identity thefts in 2022. To increase your protection in your online life, Aura's app also includes an anti oh, no, my online protection today. Now, back to the video. Finding scammers is already pretty challenging, but identifying them is even harder. Thankfully, I've obtained information by downloading all the data on these scammers' computers, and we're talking about resumes, personal photos, and even Indian identification cards. Damn. So with this information, I thought it was right to confront the scammers that were trying to rob that lady out of $11,000. Scammers are located in Kolkata, more specifically in a place called Howda, and I've tried to report the information to the local police in the past, but most of the time, nothing gets done. They are mostly operating in hotels and apartment complexes. That's because cops don't give a fuck. Those niggas is lazy as fuck. Shit like this, when people really going through, cops want to goddamn just cruise around in their motherfucking cars and arrest people for speeding tickets. But they don't want to take charge, take charge when people getting their money stolen and shit. Like, why are y'all even cops for? Y'all ain't gonna do the right shit. Y'all over here arresting somebody for a speeding ticket when this nigga's out here getting scammed. This is right under our noses. But I've traced these scammers' location down to the exact coordinates. And it's now time to reveal all of this information on a phone call. Oh, yeah, I know where actually you're located, actually. You know, cut. Waiting to apply for disability benefits? Don't. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm a lawyer at Atticus. Adam Tala, Adam Tala, the I, Tala? yeah, the IL, the ILS hospital. You know where you are. You're on that road next to the MS Fitness Gym. No, no we, I don't you're know where it is. Yeah, yeah, you do know where it is. You're in this little building right here. Hold on, wait. Here, you want to connect back to my computer, sir? I'll show you where you are. St. Joseph's Day School. You're right next to it. How's the weather? Bro, how's the weather in Kolkata? It's very it's nice. Very good. It's yeah, you're born good. in Sonagachi because you were born in Sonagachi, my beta. You were born in Sonagachi. So, how, you ready to Sonagachi? go? Sonagachi? Yeah, you know Sonagachi. What is Sonagachi? You know Sonagachi, red light district. Ah, red light district, sir. No. Your mom, your, your mom, mom no, your mom, sir. That's where you were your born and raised. Let me get some your mom. What is his mom got to do? He's born. He says you were there. That nigga mad. That nigga mad because all his information is leaked. And never, and he probably thought it one never gonna be leaked. But these, this is what is Indian people forget. The U.S. has a better signal than India. Born and buddy, born and raised. Hold on, what, what, we want me to send you a photo of where you're located. Let me send you a photo of where you're located. You ready? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, send, I'm sending you a photo. Yeah, okay, you annoy. Why, you saw you saw that road? You see that road? Now you're speechless, right? Now you're speechless. Why are you speechless, sir? No, no, I'm not speechless. You are speechless. Well, I'm, I'm not speechless. Why yeah, so, would I be speechless? So what are you doing in Kolkata? Why are you scamming in a little flat? What is this little flat that you're in? Is this a little flat? Is that where you're located, sir? Now it's finally time to confront this guy. I've been watching him scam innocent people, and even though I've tried to interrupt some of his fraud, I'm not always there to stop people from being scammed. Okay, ma'am, do one thing. Like, look in the bottom. In the bottom, do you see the search? So this guy makes off with thousands of dollars every single month. So I thought it would be great to allow the scammer into my computer. But instead of him being greeted with my money, he'll be confronted with his own webcam. Like, I, I actually am really good at transferring data from your computer to my computer. And uh, I wanted to show you, like, uh, if you can see this. Do you see this right here? You recognize this person right here with the bald head? Is that you, sir? No. Is that you, by any chance? Wait, why are you closing the computer, sir? No. Is that you, by any chance? That's you, right? That's you. So wait, so <laughs> why are you scamming people in Uttar Pradesh? Why are you scamming people in Uttar Pradesh? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? <laughs> don't run away, bro. I know who you are. Dude, don't unplug the internet. Don't go... Oh my god, you unplugged the internet. Uh. <laughs> that stupid piece of sh ran away when I showed him his own webcam and locked his computer. Let's hope he stops defrauding people out of their money, and I don't think this scammer will be gone forever, as he's been doing it for a while, but I've at least reported his phone numbers and his fake websites to the proper people, hoping it could slow down his scam process. Sometimes these scammers would attempt to launder their money using websites like Paxful, which allow you to trade in gift cards what for cryptocurrency it? like Bitcoin. 
Watching the scammers attempt to do this was always infuriating, so I took the time to write multiple emails to Paxful, hoping they can shut down these scammers' accounts for good. If you people watching have loved ones that might fall for scams like this, I would appreciate you sharing this video with others, potentially educating your family members or community about these scams. If you did enjoy this video and want to support the channel financially, I have a Patreon link and buy me a coffee down below. Thank you or- uh, But that's gonna be the end of the video. Yeah, cause it's gonna stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Double O and every time I lose it, you know what we do out there every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep.